prosecutor from Rhode Island is now facing DUI charges after refusing to take a breathalyzer during a Thanksgiving traffic stop. Out of all the people arrested for failing to take a breath test in Warwick last holiday weekend, Gerald Sullivan was the only one not also charged with DUI, sparking allegations that he used his position to get out of trouble. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live outside federal court in Providence with the latest developments. Yes, exactly a week later, a federal prosecutor is in much bigger trouble than he was in initially, and the Warwick Police Department is now digging itself out of its own mess. Sullivan, you birth. January 27, 1959. Federal prosecutor Gerard Sullivan went before a judge today on a criminal charge of driving under the influence. That's in addition to the lesser civil charge of refusing a breath test that he already was facing. Warwick Police Chief Stephen McCartney admitted the failure to bring both charges was a mistake. When you specifically look at this case, it's obvious that he should have been double charged. Obvious? Yes. To you now? Yeah. Why not obvious to your guys then, in the moment? We'll, we'll find that on any internal investigation. Chief McCartney is now looking into why the federal prosecutor was charged only with refusing a breath test even after the police saw him driving erratically early Thanksgiving morning, and even though all seven of the other drivers charged with refusing a breath test over the Thanksgiving holiday also were charged with DUI. On the basic smell test, Colonel, yep. right now, from what you know, does it smell funny? Does it look as though, I, in your I, mind, well, he I, got preferential treatment? I can't speak to that right now. Gerard Sullivan isn't just in trouble with the law, he also may be in trouble with his bosses at the Justice Department. They're investigating. Live at Federal Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.